Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about a product that came in my February BoxyCharm box, and that is this Nude Sticks. It is the Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in Copper Foil. I've been playing around with this for about a month now and have formed some definite opinions on it, what I like to use it for, what it's not so great at, and I thought I would sit down and share those with you. I'm going to talk a little bit about Nude Sticks as a company as I've not reviewed them on my channel before. I'm going to tell you about this product, I'm going to show you how I applied it today, and then give you my thoughts and review on it, and for all of that there will be timestamps in the description bar down below. So let's talk first about Nude Sticks as a company. Uh, they are sold at Sephora and I, for some reason, have always had sort of a positive opinion of this brand. It may be because some of the beauty YouTubers I like to follow, uh, like Jamie Page, I believe, uh, has really spoken highly of their lip products before uh, and possibly some of their other products, but I know their lip products. Um, and. I just found like every time I would go to Sephora, I would swatch them. They seem like these beautiful, really nice nude colors of matte lipstick that were still in a cream formula. So it wasn't that like drying down liquid lipstick. And I just sort of like coveted them, but never got around to actually buying one of them. They are like Sephora prices. So they are on the pricey side. Uh, and I didn't know that they had all the different products that they now have until I was doing research for this video. So first, First, let me tell you that this company was founded and is run by a mother and her two daughters or two of her daughters. I don't know if she has more, which is kind of cool. It's like this not only a woman led company, but like a family woman led company. And they're all sort of in different generations. So they get a lot of different input into their products and different markets just even within their own family. In the description of Nude Sticks, they talk about going for a natural, barely there look with a touch of color for perfection in an instant. So you're not going to get those like ultra glam kind of colors. This is about adding touches of color and, you know, making things look even and beautiful in a way that is very natural, which I kind of connect with. I've been feeling that way a lot about makeup lately. So they say that having worked with some of today's best makeup artists and photographers, they pooled their industry know-how with their no makeup makeup lifestyle to create nude sticks. So as I mentioned, they have a lot more products than I knew about. So not only do they have their lip products, which I did know about, they have eye products, one of which I'm reviewing today. They have, you know, brow products. They have foundations and highlighters and blushes and contours. And it's all sort of done in this makeup crayon kind of way. So there's a lot of creams there. They don't have powders. Um, but I find that I've been like liking that kind of thing a lot lately, a much more creamy, natural, glowy kind of look, which they really seem to be catering to. I think they even have some mascaras and things in here, just things that I didn't really know that they had on the go. I will say that they do have a influencer or uh, affiliate section, I should say, of their website. And it kind of looks like, I haven't tried doing it because I'm not necessarily interested, but it looks like anybody can be an affiliate for them. It seems like if you sign up to be an affiliate, you get 15% off of what you buy, and then they will provide you with affiliate links where if the people you are sharing it with uh, clicks on those links and buys, they get 10% off, and then you get part of the profit from that. Uh, all this to say that I only tend to bring that up when I see it because you may want to take some of the reviews out there with a grain of salt. If people are affiliates for the company, it can kind of sway them a little bit in their reviews. So let's talk about this Magnetic Luminous Eye Color. These in Canada are going to set you back $29, so it is a pricey little product. They have a number of different shades of these, but they're all fairly natural earth tone kind of shades. You do get 2.8 grams of product, and they describe it like this. An uber long wearing eyeshadow pencil that highlights, provides intense luminous color, precise lining, and primes lids for all day wear. This long wearing waterproof neutral eyeshadow pencil delivers and highlights the, face, the face's high points, like cheekbones, tear ducts, and brow arch. Not with this color, but with some of them you can do that. Uh, this 4-in-1 application is easy to use, but still gives intense color, precise lining, and primes lids for all-day wear. Ideal for oily lids, these fun and sassy touch-and-go makeup sticks are soft and super gliding, easy to blend with even payoff that will provide a quick and easy nude look but better for all faces in all places. 
They have a number of these shades that are vegan. Not all of them are, but they tell you which ones. They are not tested on animals, and they do say to, you know, you can use it to different places, and you can smudge to soften with fingers or brush. I'll mention a little bit of that later. And that's pretty much all they say about it. So it is pricey. There's a number of different shades. I can totally see using some of these in a brighter color as a highlight, inner tear duct, cheekbone, that kind of thing. But this one being a copper is not going to be for that. Having said all of that, let's go into the application of this so I can tell you a little bit about how I've been using it. So the great thing about this nude stick is that it is creamy, it goes on amazingly well, it stays in place, there's no fallout, but you're not able to blend it. So you're not gonna be able to put this on the eye and use a brush to blend it out. I have found that if you put a little bit on your finger, you can maybe tap it on and get a little bit of blending that way. Or if you put it on, you can maybe tap it out a little bit with your finger, but you're definitely not going to get the full impact of the color by doing that. So I've just been putting it on and not worrying about blending it, and I'll show you that on this eye, just how I've been using it. I mean, it's not shimmery or glittery, but it just has this great metallic sheen to it, and it's somewhere between a copper and a gold and just has this really great impact. So it's always hard for me to get in really close to the inside of my eye, but I do that and then bring it out and basically just bring it out to the end of my eye. And yeah, there's a couple of, you know, there's a harsh line there and I can blend a little bit of powder in between to get rid of that but you can't really blend the product itself. Um, I will put a little bit on my finger and tap it out to maybe give a little bit of blending, but even then, um, like the color doesn't have the same sort of shine and impact. So you really do want to put it on straight from the crayon itself. So you are able to do a little bit of blending with your finger to get rid of some harsh lines, but you're really not gonna be able to do that with a brush. But I find doing this and then adding some black liner gives a really impactful, super quick eye look. And you can see on that side by tapping it on with my finger, I mean, color goes on, but it's not nearly as beautiful and bright as going straight from the crayon itself. And the crayon is just, it glides on, it's creamy, it's beautiful. And I just love the color of it and the simplicity of it. Does that pretty much match up? Sure. And then I'll do a little bit of finger blending on that side as well. There we go. And now all I need to do is put on some liner and some mascara. And there we go, there it is with the mascara and eyeliner at it so that it's, you know, not a crazy bright colored eye or anything, but it just has this extra little impact and oomph to it beyond just doing an eyeliner. And I really love the ease and simplicity of it. So overall, I really like this. This is really close to what I'm looking for in makeup right now, which is, easy, reliable, uh, not too crazy so I don't feel uncomfortable going out in it in any kind of situation that is maybe more professional or just every day. Um, and I really like what this does. So they talk about it being even color. It really is. Uh, let me see if I can just get the brightness up there. You can see the shine that's on that and how pretty that is, but also how consistent that color is. There's no patchiness there. It just goes on like super creamy. So I put this on, sorry, off camera, but I'll do it again. So, you know, it does exactly what you want it to do. It does stay put. Like once you put it on, it's going to be there all day. I didn't even know that it was waterproof until like the last couple of days when I was doing research for this video, but it doesn't crease. It doesn't move around. It doesn't smudge. Um, the drawback to that is it is harder to blend, you know, like once it's on there, you're not really blending it very much. You can do it with your finger a little, but you know, you have to kind of work at it and you're not really gonna be able to do it with a brush. They did say that, you can't really do it. 
but it's nice. Like if you had a couple of these in these really nice nude colors, you know, maybe a dark one like this and maybe a brighter one that could also be used for highlighting. It's just good. Like it's, it's, it's just good and I really like it and I've been using it in my day-to-day -day life quite a bit. Do I wish it was a little less expensive? Yes, I do, but I just think it's gorgeous. And it talks about being used as a base. You can blend powder shadows on top of here. I've done that a little bit sometimes where I'll tap a darker color towards the outside of my eye. It's not the greatest base ever, but you can do it. Just know that you're not really gonna be able to blend the edges very well with a brush. That is the only drawback that I've seen so far. But otherwise, it's a huge thumbs up from me. I really like it. And I would love to hear from you guys if you received this as well, what you think of it, or if you've used other Nude Sticks products, what you think of those, because I love hearing from you guys. Leave it all in the comments, and uh, I will respond to everybody who comments. And I look forward to seeing all of you in my next video. Bye.